Hey, hey, make a pumpkin with me. Today we're going to make a pumpkin. Looks just about like this. Um, I use the Lion brand Hue and Me. There's a quite a number of variety of really cute colors. Um, so other items you're going to need are a hook. I use an I-9 it's I or size nine or uh, five and a half millimeter. Um, and then um, you could use others. I'm sure that's fine. Um, you'll need some scissors and a yarn needle. Oh, and some stuffing. So we'll get started. This is probably going to be the most boring video you've ever seen on YouTube, but it's going to be rough. I'm going to give it a shot. So here we go. Make our little slip knot and we're going to chain and I usually use it, leave a tail about a long and we're going to chain 13, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. <clears throat> and then you're going to, in the second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet. And then you're just going to single crochet all the way across. So every one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and eleven. So you had that first chain that you did on the in the second chain from the hook, and then you did eleven more. So you should have twelve stitches going across for each row. So then, when you get to the end, you're just going to do a chain. You're going to turn it, and when you turn it, turn it. So the work goes this way, um, if that makes sense, as opposed to, let me just go back to where I was. So instead of going, like turning it, going under away from you, the reason why is you'll see here. So I'm going to, so I've done my chain one and I'm going to turn it towards me. And then I'm going to single crochet in the back loops. So you got this row going across here and I'm going to single crochet in the back loops. So not this first one here, but you're going to go right in here and single crochet. And then you're going to just do that all the way across in those back loops. So here's what I'm calling them back loops get a little closer to the camera so you get right there see it probably should have used a lighter yarn but and we're just going to go across this is such an easy pattern i just love making these pumpkins they're so cute. And, oops, there's more on there. Okay, so this is, we're getting to the end here. There's one more in there. 
You can see that little guy right there. Pull him up. And we have come to the end of our first, I'm going to call this a ridge. It's like two, ro this, two rows. One goes up and one goes down. It makes this kind of ridge. And so we're going to do this a couple more times. So remember, turn your work towards you. And then just start in that first one. Some more yarn here. And just work your way across. Pretty easy. Okay. Oops. See, that's getting kind of a little snag, but we'll just hide that right on in there. No big deal. All right. Get to the end. I'm going to do one more row with you. Get that last. Oops. Get that last one. So we're going to chain, turn towards you, and we're going to count this time. Make sure we still have 12. There's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we're going to have twelve. Number twelve is kind of hiding in there usually, so you just have to. Go in there and find it. Let's see. All right. So that's the end of our second ridge. You see how, so every two rows you get this ridge. So do go ahead and finish. I'll um, go off camera and do the next six. So we'll have a total of eight ridges. There'll be, um, 16 rows all together, you know, making the ridges, not counting our foundation chain. So you're going to have eight ridges total. So come back then. Okay. Here we are. We've got eight ridges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see how that's I got the ridges and I'll just finish this row off. Yep. I changed colors on you. <laughs> okay. So we'll finish this row. And then I just didn't want to make you sit through that going back and forth doing all the rows. So hopefully you figured out to just pause it. <laughs> okay. There we are. We're our last one of our last ridge. We're just going to give that a little pull. And then we're going to lay it down. Pull this because we want a little extra um, to work with. So for sewing, it's, don't be alarmed. It's not that much sewing. And I just do it about oh so long there. And... Give it a cut, pull that out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over, and we are going to thread our needle, and then we're just going to fold it over like so and your stitches are just going to kind of line up it um, doesn't have to be perfect and then we're just going to come through with this through that first one to just start to get that started and you're going to see you've got a stitch here and a stitch here and you're just going to oh. 
and do that all the way up. This is the small pumpkin. Um, it's pretty easy to do larger pumpkins. It's exactly the same thing. You just uh, do a um, few more um, stitches in a row and a few more ridges, a few more rows. Um, I'll uh, put a PDF of the pattern. It's definitely a, a rough one. Nothing professional, but um, I'll do a, hopefully it'll help, but I'll do a, um, put a PDF for the pattern in the um, description of it below. And we're almost there. A couple more stitches. There's one. And this last one. Just got a nice little seam there to bind it all together. And then maybe you're you give it a little twist to get it back, twist it back up. And you're just gonna tie that to the beginning strand there. Make a just a just a little knot, I kinda make it tight. It doesn't have to be super tight. And then in each in the top of each one of these ridges, we are going to make a, a slip this through. So I'm going to do it right where there's you know where it's going to have some um, plenty of. Um, you don't want to do it in through just one strand. You kind of want to make sure you got a couple just to give it some strength there. So we did the top of that one, and now we're going to come over here and do the top of this one. And then we're going to do the top of this one. And there were eight ridges, so we're going to have eight to slip through. And... That's the last one. And just so the this we're going to cinch this closed, but just to make sure that we get a good cinch on it, I'm going to kind of overlap where I started my starting point. So I'm just going to go right. So here's where the oops, there's where it starts. And then I'm just going to push that go through there and then make that my last stitch and then I'm going to take my strand and I'm going to pull this is why you don't want to use wimpy yarn because some some of the different kinds of yarns break I love the super soft stuff but it tends to break when you pull it through not that there isn't remedies for that if you want to use a different kind of yarn you just you have to just be a little more gentle. So you're going to just make sure that your hole, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, too big a gap there. So you want to pretty, pretty close up pretty tight. And once you do that, then you're just going to tie it off a couple times. All right. Once you're done, then you just turn it inside out and actually it's our outside is in our inside is out I don't know something anyway so there's that and then as far as yarn goes we just need one more strip of yarn about 16 inches long or so so I usually just uh go about this long Hopefully you can see that. All right. And then we're just going to set that aside for a moment while we stuff it. So we have stuffing. This is just regular polyfill. I like the, um, I just get this on Amazon. I'll post the, disc, uh, a list of the materials in, um, the link below or 
I'll link, I'll put it in the description below of the materials that I used. This is a pretty soft polyfill. Some of it's kind of, I don't know, not as, uh, uh, it doesn't feel as good and it doesn't like stuff as well. So, and when you use the polyfill, you just kind of tear it apart. You'll get more bang for your buck that way. And just, it seems to do a better job. And so you're just gonna get it good and stuffed. Just a little bit more. All right, no, that's not coming. <laughs> then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of dig a little hole in there. And as we're doing it, I'm just kind of spinning it around because I want to get it all the way through to the bottom. And you're gonna see why. So, oops, coming out. Goodness gracious, it's fighting me. Okay. All right, so you kind of see that? It's got a, there's a hole in there. And that's kind of in the center. That's gonna help our needle go through when we're ready for that. So, I'm gonna take my string and put it on the needle. And then, again, on the tops of all these ridges, and uh, part. So you're not gonna want to go where like right here, because that's gonna kind of pull your work. You're what you're gonna want to do is go a little bit deeper, so that there's some good, you know, uh, solid stuff there between, so it doesn't pull. So it gives it some strength. So that was the top of that ridge. Then we're gonna go to this top of this ridge. Pull that out of the way. So that's back there and we're just going to work our way around. We have eight ridges, so we'll have eight stitches. And, oops, don't really want to go through the stuffing. No big deal if you do. All right, so we're back around and again, I'm gonna come cross over just so it has some more some strength. And I am going to cinch it close. So we're gonna take our, we're gonna hold this piece so it doesn't pull on us. And then we're just gonna pull that okay this one you're gonna actually need a hole there though because you're gonna the reason why is oh I forgot to get a stem for the stem I use these cinnamon sticks and it's just uh, get more bang for your buck I just take a whole one and I bust it in half and then so your hole you're going to want to make sure that there's enough room to plug that in there so we don't want it too loose. So, voila. All right. Now we're going to tie that. We're not done yet though. are getting close though all right now we're going to take our string again and i usually just give it a twist to twist it back because it i don't know kind of gets wonky all right now we know now we just want to give this some uh extra definition so i'm going to put my needle right down through the center and that was why we kind of dug out a little well so we could get through there without fighting that stuffing you don't want to come up right through the center of the hole you want to go off a little bit to the side remember that the hole we cinched up on the bottom there and then you're just going to go over you know like a half a you know one stitch over so you can kind of see that I came up 
here and I'm going down here and I'm just going to go back through and I'm going to go oh, kind of, so our string is over here. So I'm going to go to the opposite side where our string is to come up through. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it. So as we're pulling it tight, you can see what it happens. It starts to give it that pumpkin look. So, but you don't want to do it too much or too little. Okay. So I came up here and then I'm just going to go down right beside it. And we're going to go back through the bottom again. And we're not going to come out this exactly in the center. We're going to kind of, we're just kind of looping it over the yarn. So then we just kind of, wherever you come up, you're just going to kind of go down right, like here's where we came up. And we're just going to go back through. And then we are going to look for, try to get it close to where our, starting string is so there's my starting string Whoop. and there's where i'm going to come up through and once i do that i'm going to make sure i got the tightness that i um you know that i got some like it's pulling tight so it's got this little divot and then once I do that, then I'm just going to tie this a couple of times. And one more. And then all this, that's why I love doing these kind of things, because you don't have to tuck the tails in, <laughs> like doing blankets. You just stuff it in there. Voila! And just give it a kind of a roll around. You see how cute it looks just like a little pumpkin. And then we're just gonna put in our little cinnamon stick. There's the jagged end and there's the better end. And there is a pumpkin. Voila! Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. Bye.